Welcome back, guys. Time to see you with another nostalgic look at Alundra 2. Now, last time we got uh, caught by Mephisto on the pirate island. Princess got captured again, and now we're on the uh, ship headed to the Varuna capital. Presumably, uh, that's not going to go well, so we're stuck in this room. Oh, we've got to talk to Alexia. I always wanted to ask you something. What's your mission? Why did you start hunting pirates? Good question. I guess now we find out in a flashback. Cue the long loading times again. Gotta love those PS1 era loads. We got him cornered. Let's finish him off. So, you think you can beat all of us? And there's a sniper. Get wrecked. Naomi? Naomi! Hey, Ratcliffe! Drop your sword, Ratcliffe. Drop it, or I'll slice your boy's throat! Look at those pirates' faces. Okay, okay, I get it. I was just joking. Of course, I'll give the boy back to you. I was just following orders. Anyway, I Flint. So we see Flint's mother bravely sacrificed herself to save her husband. Uh, Radcliffe is definitely not Belgar, who's now uh, Melina's bodyguard. And so now Flint hates pirates. I'm so sorry to hear that. I didn't know you had such a past. But the past leads to the present and the future. Just don't forget that, Flint. So don't dwell on revenge, I guess. Oh, hello, Mephisto. It's time for us to leave, princess. Come this way. You are looking even more hideous than usual, Mephisto. In time, you will learn to speak to me with respect, Princess Alexia. Don't bet on it, wizard. Yeah, she's got a nice amount of sass to her. So where are we headed now? We are going to make our way to wherever it is that we're supposed to be going, unmolested, uh, unhindered. It's a nice ship, though. This way, princess. Eh, yeah, not us. I suppose we're just a uh, random plus one and don't really uh, amount to much. Are they just going to eat us over the side, maybe? 
<laughs> well, princess, please forgive me for my somewhat coarse methods. This all must seem rather abrupt, but the Baron is eagerly awaiting your presence and requested that I escort you promptly. Right sound effects on that thing. You and I will be flying together to the royal city. Please, come this way. Don't you even dare. I am the princess of the Varuna kingdom. I do not take orders from Baron Diaz. Now, I demand that you release us immediately. <laughs> Princess of Varuna, indeed! Don't make me laugh! You're nothing. I will show you the meaning of true power! With this key, I could make you into my slave, my own personal plaything, who will do anything I command. What the hell was that robot supposed to be doing? He just falls on Flint there. Damn, that Mephisto is strong. He can hold himself and the princess just by one arm. That's, I mean, pretty impressive for Green Goblin, dude. So we have indeed been uh, thrown off the ship and floating in the ocean. I like the underwater music in this. There is one full stage that has you uh, with that music. Are you are you okay? Let me look around. No, no, I, I'm not here to hurt you. So, what do you got to say? Oh, I wanna. Do you have any items? Actually, I sell items for a living. I got my wares right here with me. All right. Traveling salesperson. I will stock up on a couple of herbs actually. I'm running a smidge low. And you have nothing else of interest, so. Alright, what's this place? All I know is it's an underwater cave. I've been looking for a way out of here and made it pretty far into the tunnels, but I couldn't find a way out. I didn't know what to do, so I just came back here where I think it's safe. And. How did you get here? Haha, <laughs> that's a good question. How did I get here? Tell you the truth, I don't know. Anyway, ain't too bad here. Plenty of fish to eat. Whoops. Those fish look very, very bony and rather demonic. Alright, well, this is also uh, one of the... I think it is the only place in the game that um, isn't returnable. You can't return to here. Alright, let's save, because I think the last save is back in the first Melina. Alright, that is quite some time ago. Yeah, that was quite some time ago. Oof. What was that door? Okay, so we've got four doorways and four gated doors. Hmm, well, I guess the answer is go into each uh, mysterious doorway and solve uh, the puzzles to get the keys. Alright, red, yellow, blue, yellow, red, yellow, blue. Let me write that one down because I will not remember that one. Uh, where did I put myself a pen? Ooh, there's a pen. That one will do. Nice purple pen. Alright, so red, yellow, blue, yellow, red, yellow, blue. 
I would have remembered that if it was like reversed. Mm, yep. So presumably that means that this next room will have something to do with that clue. Oh shit! Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, so red. Oh, okay. Thank you for poking me through the doorway, I guess. Aha! Falls off, you pests. Okay, cool. I don't have to defeat you. So that first one was red. This one is yellow, because we can see the invisible, um... Invisible things here, and we know that the squarish ones are the yellow ones. So we've got yellow here. Is this literally just going to be the right order? Uh, oh, those ones look like the siren-y things with the blue ones, so... Blue. Now, is this one going to be another yellow? Oh, okay. So you have to go backwards and forwards. And you little pests. Well, at least you're synced up. Alright, well, so that's red. I guess we have to go backwards and forwards. Uh, yellow. <laughs> Trapped an enemy. Ah, oh, it is literally... Blue, go back. We hit the yellow again. We hit the red again. Okay, I didn't even need to um, copy down those letter combination. It's literally just go backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Oh, that was uh, easy. Oh. Oh, come on. Okay, so you, I learned that you cannot shoot a second shot if something is trapped by the elemental. Okay, so... What is this one? Silence conquers all. Ah, I like this one. You literally just have to stand still and do nothing as the lizardmen encroach. But if you move, they will come at you and make your day fun with their other pointy sticks. So, what do we got in here? Oh, hello, terrifying demon things. Okay, so what's your boing boing fire? Bombs! Oh, oh she's busted. Let's get the healing on there. Alright. Gotcha! Okay. So we're gonna do the bomb. Gotcha! Without uh, bombing one's own self. Okay, well. Nope. Eh, let's not gear up that one. Let's get you two guys to drop bombs without immediately having them set alight, okay? Alright, I got lucky with those first two hits, I guess. Gotcha. Alright, well at least I have very little HP. So we had giant flying eyeball ticks. Do you only give me 30 gold? Oh, some Lorian nuts to add to the collection and almost never be used. A key, as expected, and probably my bet is a tonic. Tonic. Well, I can't return here, so there's no point in storing the item in the chest. And back we go. So that's room one. Now, if I'm smart, I'll remember which room that I did. Okay, literally, there's no shortcut back. You've got to go all the way back through the tunnels. At least the enemies have gone. That's some small blessing. It's just a lot of rooms to go back through. So yeah, this area is a kind of like a weird little mini dungeon. You've got to go through each of the four doors. Each has its own little set of puzzles and each has its own little mini boss, I guess, at the end. Of terrifying ticks. Okay, so we've we got some... Oh, we've got invisible thingies here. Some invisible enemies. Alright, let's make them visible so we can attack them. 
At least it's these dudes which can't seem to attack you. Okay, you can hit them. You can hit these two when um, they're invisible, which is nice. I'm gonna bet that there's more and more enemies and they get... Okay, I'm gonna want that to find the little buggers. They're gonna get progressively harder. We start off with passive ones. Come on, you little pest, get here. Gotcha. Okay, and you do have to defeat them. Uh, tonic. Nope, gold. Nice. I should... Oh, there. It looks invisible. Maybe that's all you have to do, is find the invisible switch. Oh, oh. oh shiss! Alright. Oh, you might also have to uh, actually defeat the enemies to get the switch to spawn, I think. Alright. Oh, there was one left. Okay. And you did. Alright, so no invisible switch here. We just kill the enemies. So what do we got? Oh, 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 oh. Alright, so we've got... Come on. What do we got? We've got a fire shooter and a thing that's in my way. Uh-huh, so we've got to light these. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Ow. Okay. At least they're easy enough to spot. Okay, and now I plonk myself behind the fire lantern. Uh, where do I want to go? Oh yeah, I might as well just lead it this way. Okay, it should work. Yes. Gotcha. Well, that was relatively harmless and you really did not need the, uh, Thing, invisible things made visible. Okay, so we've got some more invisible things. What have we got? We have a sign. Okay, what does this one say? Take wings and leave this hungrier. Easy. The jump special of the pixie ring. You just gotta hold your hover jump until uh, that happens. So I guess that one you could do it. I probably do it if you knew it. Okay, so now we've got more demon ticks. Ooh, maybe you give on. Okay, this one's basically just attack. Oh, come on, okay. Mm, you're being a little pesty pest. Oh, ow, holy crap, you actually hit hard. Although you have like no HP, so you're just um, paper thin. But wow, that hit way harder than I was expecting. I know I'm missing one armor upgrade, but even so, like, I shouldn't be hit, being hit that hard, I would have thought. And a key. And another tonic. And another tonic. Alright, I really do wish there was a uh, quick walk back. I know they're not super long, but this is like just unnecessary extra hiking that we have to do. Uh, we'll uh, quickly heal up. Uh... Yeah, absolutely pointless using the uh, pro tonic given that uh, there is a say healing circle uh, right at the entrance of this, but uh, you know, that's how it goes. It's like, I might as well use it. Okay, so we've done all the ones on one side. I will do a safety save, just because I don't trust how much damage that boss happened to be doing. And I don't have uh, the luxury of auto saves like in a lot of modern games. So just play it cautious. Okay, oh, oh, okay, we've got a stack of blocks. Uh, let's have the pixie ring and not the tonic. And something up, button up there. Alright, so what happens when I shoot? Oh. Okay. I see. Let me just reset this because I think I screwed that up immediately.
Okay, so what we want to do... Jump. Jump. Okay, do we want... Um... Okay, well, oh, that works it. Is that going to be enough? Ba -bum. Alright, so we're creating a stacking staircase with push blocks that you have to elemental shoot. So this is like the first dungeon where you really have to use your elemental ring. I, like, it's not bad. Okay, so we've got invisible platforms. Uh, a thing up there that we can't hit, so I'm gonna guess. Hit that to make the your job easier. Back to being invisible, but we should be fine. Of course. Okay, well, the invisible platforms are visible enough that realistically we'll be fine. What the hell cycle are these things on? And invisible button hit. At least it is pretty damned easy to see the invisible stuff. Uh, I think I remember hating this puzzle. Okay, so we've got three ones. What's going to happen when we hit them? Okay, so then move. that one moves. That one goes bounce. And that one goes bounce. Okay. So we need to create a bouncer castle. Alright, that's going to be okay. Cool. Oh, you pest. You... Okay, I don't know why that decided it wanted to hit both of them instead of just the one. But that it did. Okay, you just Push sire diagonal? No. I'm gonna say there's a little bit of janky collision in this. Right, and don't hit both of them. And please hit, please hit, please hit. You are like one flipping pixel. Alright. I remember I saw I said um Oh, now I have to wait. Yeah, okay. Or... This is why it gives you a crap ton of glory and nuts. Okay. Remember how I said I hated this puzzle? Uh, please work. Uh, okay, there's enough of a pixel I can stand on that. Alright, do not hit the other bastard one. Okay. Should, that should be good enough. Yes. Haha, <laughs> one pixel big enough for Kvint to stand on. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I don't remember most of these puzzles, but I do remember there was like one green pixie box stacking one that was just obnoxious. Oh, hello, bats. You cannot escape a zoo bat. God damn you pests. Come on. Alright. Okay, so you only come down to hit range when you are attacking. I did not mean to, she's my short. Come on. Okay, you're dead. Put oh, one more. And you know, thankfully you do not have much in the way of HP. And I see a treasure chest, which might have a tonic. All gold. More tonics. Well, I will take the healing at this point. Because I'm pretty sure the next room is going to contain the mini boss for this uh, section. And what variety of tick do we have? Okay, one that just screams. And puts out a flamethrower, nice! Oh crap, your little ones put out flamethrowers as well. Oh shit, you do 
Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, this one's a bit more of a. Oh, that, that, okay, that was on me. Okay. This one's a. Come on! Jesus, your recoil damage for hitting you sucks! I mean, if I had the armor upgrade, I would only bring it down to 50. So it's not like a massive drop. Uh, key number three. Warlorian nuts actually used one for once. And... You know what, I don't even care about bothering to use that, because I will definitely be going on that safe circle. Healing circle. So let's see what the last one was. At least like these little mini bosses kind of have um, neat little mechanics to them. Like the bomb throwing one where you gotta like collect a bomb from the little minions and then blow up the big boy with its fireballs and that. Use it to light the bombs. Thank you, Fint. Alright. That one was a little bit more sketchy than I thought it was going to be, honestly. I mean, I was in no way of dying given the amount of healing items I've got stashed up. Like, max potions and tonics. Herbs and tonics. No potions in this game. Okay, lucky last one. I wonder if we're going to be using our green pixie ring. Like everything else in here. Aha! More invisibility. Okay, so that puts that one visible up. And we've got a fire stand there, and we have an invisible fire. Easy. I'll admit that uh, finding the that invisible fire in the corner probably would have been a bit tricky. Okay, so this will do something. Okay, we got to shoot the fireball. Right. Nope. Too uh, too late. Okay, what the? Too early. Jeez, okay. I'm listening for audio cues. That was way too late. Gotcha. Because for some reason, uh, shooting a spear through a fireball will nail it to a wall. Aha, aha. More invisibilities. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of these and we've got to lead it to there. Aha, okay. Oopsies, oopsies. I think that's going to hit. Yep. So we lead it over here. We'll lead it down over here. Oh, it's not a great spot. Yike. Yep. Okay, so I need to lead it over this way a little bit more. Cool. Yep. It's good. And that should be good. Can get flint behind there with the camera. Thank you. Easy enough done. And the invisible things don't matter. Once you know where they are and, you know, they're still pretty... Oh, okay, we've got more bloody bats. What else have we got? Oh, we've got a... Uh, you know, I'll just hit that. That makes it easier. It was worth it, uh, shooting that crystal. Did not have to deal with the bats. I do not trust... Oh! Okay, these guys are like weeping angels. If any of them can see you standing on the uh, button, you can't do it. Well, and like, let's be honest, even if you didn't know that was the solution, you're still probably going to be shooting the statues because it's something to do. Now, what's your gimmick, terrifying flying eye? Oh, okay, you shot them. You pooped them out. Lit. Um, you gonna put them out on me, thank you. No. Oh, I'm gonna blow up. Yeah, just... thank you. <laughs> I just... Dun, dun, dun. Alright, cool. Think you speed up. 
Alright, so the timing is when he poops out the next one. It's just hard. Gotcha. Uh, he also, I don't think, will take any damage if you just sword swipe him. Alright, easy done. And do not die near the stops. He's so, he, that one was kind of cool. But he didn't, he would have been better if he had um, changed up his attack pattern a little bit. Like, gotten faster when he was on low HP or something. But other than that, like, that was a pretty neat fight. So is every single chest a tonic, a lorian nut, and a key? Wow. Very predictable. Well, I mean, these are only mini-bosses. You can't expect good gear and stuff out of them. The only downside is I have also just realised that I never got a chance to buy the upgraded health that was in uh, Puerto Medusa. So I am going to be slightly shorter on HP until I can get back there. And I know I'll be able to get back there because there were trigger things, elemental triggers that I could not access beforehand. Alright, one key, two key, three key, four key. Now, is there a last boss? Oh, god laws. I was gonna say, what the hell was that camera? Oh, hello. What do we got here? There's a giant ass ham bone. Mmm, this roast is delicious. It sure is. Nice and juicy with a slight smoky taste. Who is that over there? And he's a poor th Who are you? How did you find our secret base? Hey, Lord Framewell! Kids, what is all that shouting about? Uncle, this suspicious character just showed up out of nowhere! Oh, what the? Sir Flint, but how did you get here? <laughs> no idea! Absolutely none at all! Sir Flint, pardon me for asking, but how did you find our children at the Crown Headquarters? Are those strawberries in that trough? They are indeed. <laughs> what Mephisto has taken Princess Alexia hostage? And you say he was under the orders from Baron Diaz? Oh, this is just terrible. What are we going to do? But why would Baron Diaz do such a thing? I always knew Diaz was crooked. We can't let him get away with this. We've got to do something. Oh, they got little ducks on their, um, tabards. Let's rescue the princess and take the throne back by force. For the crown! Three musketeers. For the crown! And I think now we see what those mysterious ducks were that we saw a couple of times in our travels. We got a little yellow submarine. Oh, hello. I remember you from way back when. Oh, now we see our demon whale back from the, the one of those early cutscenes. So how many children of the crown are there? There were two girls and one boy earlier, and now we've got two boys and one girl. What is that huge thing? It, it was huge! Well, we've got a job to do. Let's not forget about it. Let's forget about it and get going. You're right, let's go. 
Is that dude like powering the thing by a treadmill? Ah, that's our king, the king of Aruna. You know, he looks suspiciously like King Triton from The Little Mermaid. Just, just saying. He is the reason we formed the Children of the Crown. The children are a small group of princes and princesses bound together by their oath to defend the crown. I hate to admit it, but without Princess Alexia, our group here is little more than a childish game of pretend. We couldn't hope to defeat Baron Diaz in any sort of conflict without her. And now that the Baron has the King in prison and Princess Alexia in his hands, our kingdom is in terrible danger. With the pirates and Mephisto at his side, the Baron will be unstoppable. Sir Flint, you are our only hope now. Please, save Princess Alexia. Attention all crew members, full speed ahead. We're going to take back our kingdom. For the crown! Alright, I am just noticing the time. It is definitely getting long, but I want to just get through these cutscenes and regain control of Flint. Oh, and we have uh, Puppet King here. Who has somehow managed to fool everyone despite having no hair, a wooden face, and button eyes. My king, I humbly beg you for Princess Alexia's hand in marriage. begs you for Princess Alexia's hand in marriage. The King has granted your request. I am most honored, Your Munificence. He just screams for Zia. So there we are introduced to the evil Baron Diaz and we still have some cutscene to go, I guess. Uh -huh, our uh, ducks in 2D this time instead of 3D models that we've seen every other time, of course. Okay, everybody, prepare to attack! Let's save the king! Yay! Okay, there are four of them. I mean, you guys are really well equipped. You have your own submarine. Like, that's pretty impressive. So, I guess that's the uh, House of Varuna with a mysterious giant pyramid in it. If anyone thought that attack was going to go in any other way but that, I feel you were sorely mistaken. You're all under arrest by order of Baron Diaz. How dare you! Let me out of here! Let us go! I command you to let us go! Shut up and there, you pampered little poodles. I guess we're going to make a, another prison break? Release us at once. I am Prumo and I demand you release us immediately. Quiet in there. Oh, I promise you'll regret all of this. Come on, let's go. Alright, well, now I have command of Flint again. And we end this episode, slightly long, uh, in exactly the same position that we did last time, as prisoners. Well, until next time, this is Type This Out. Until then, have a good day, guys. Bye.